We're back discussing a new wellness trend where you become the CEO of your own health. But doing so requires a multitude of medical tests. So could these be helpful or harmful? Dr. Shaw, you're also an advocate for a lot of health testing like regular MRIs. Now, I know that's a little bit controversial. We know they're costly, and as I, as I alluded to, uh, controversial. What is your response to critics of this approach? I've gotten one, so I, I, I've been on board. Look, getting regular MRIs is not for everybody, but definitely if you have a history of certain types of cancers that MRIs can detect, pancreatic cancer being one of the main ones, um, I would really think about it. And MRIs used to be $10,000, $20,000 each. Now we're getting them down to one or $2,000. I think in a few more years, they'll be down to a few hundred dollars. Why not do a yearly or bi-yearly MRI to detect cancer? Because, you know, cancer's nemesis is detecting it early, stage one or stage two, which most pancreatic cancer doesn't get detected until it's a later stage. There is a place for it. I, I hope in time the price right does come down and becomes more mainstream because for a lot of people, insurance will not pay for it, correct? That is correct. But a lot of the biomarkers that we're talking about, um, HSCRP, hemoglobin A1C, even cholesterol levels, et cetera, you can just ask your doctor for them and it should be covered by your insurance for your yearly physical as well. Okay. All right, Leslie, you also had some genetic testing during your investigation. Tell us more about that. I did. And I've actually had it done a few times. You don't need to have it done that many times, but I did have it done on the show a few years ago because my dad passed from pancreatic cancer. And by the time they detected it, like Dr. Shaw said, it was too late. It had already metastasized to his other organs. And so luckily I don't carry that pancreatic cancer gene, but I'll tell you, if those tests showed that I did, I would be investing in an MRI to monitor my pancreas because as much as you want to do, once it's metastasized, we know it's a death sentence. And I feel like that is one thing that I would recommend is if you have that history in your family, that I think this is where an MRI would actually be beneficial. I agree with you 100%. I would rather know if I have a genetic predisposition to something. This way you can you know, change your lifestyles, monitor something, get, let's say you have a, a, a genetic marker for colon cancer, then you need to be extra vigilant. You need to change your eating habits, lifestyle. You need to get uh, colonoscopies more often. So uh, all for it. If it means adding an MRI to it, I think um, it's a good way to go. So. Dr. Shaw, anything new on the horizon in terms of genetic testing? Yes, I'm really excited about something that just came out over the last year. So what they did was they analyzed the blood DNA, so fragments of DNA inside your blood um, at the DNA an analysis centers. And what they found was that you can actually detect cancer DNA in your blood. Now, this is not for the risk of cancer. This is for actively growing cancers in your body right now. This test is called a GRAIL test. And um, with the simple blood test, you can screen for about 50 different kinds of cancers and especially the fast growing ones. So I'm really excited about this. There's still more research being done, but it is being offered to the public. It is a little bit of expensive right now, but as the science gets better and the technology progresses, I really see this going to where someone one can get it for a couple of hundred bucks a test. Um, you know, doing genetic testing, even just tech, testing your own genes used to cost thousands. And now you can buy a test online for a hundred dollars, right? And so I think this will eventually get there. And it would be incredible for all of us to be able to screen for cancer on a yearly basis with a simple blood test and detect 50 different kinds of cancers. So I'm really excited about this GRAIL test that's coming out now. That, that is exciting news.